Hi Forex traders, you're welcome back. This is Carries Trading Institute and this is uh, my Monday review of the dollar price action, all right, in confluence with a GBPUSD and foreign currencies entirely. So this morning we saw a liquidity injection because of the news that unfolded on the economic calendar. You can see that there was a news event that unfolded today on the GBP around 9.30 a.m. GMT plus one and also around uh, 8.15 a.m. on the Euro, all right? If, uh, this is convertible to your local time, all right? So you need to check your country and then convert these times to your different uh, local time. This is relatively uh, around um, 4.30 a.m. New York time. All right, because the London session starts between 2 to 5 a.m. New York time. You can convert it to your local time and know uh, when those times are going to be. We still are expecting a news on the dollar high impact around 2.45 p.m. GMT plus one. Okay, so we are expecting that it's going to inject liquidity on the dollar. So this is the dollar weekly time frame. Remember during the last analysis I gave you guys on Saturday, I already mentioned that I'm interested in seeing the dollar trade into internal range. And last week I mentioned that I was interested in seeing a fair value gap created between previous week's price action, which of course was what happened last week. So this week, uh, the dollar, traded into that fair value. This is that fair value gap. You can see it, see it here. Uh, the, the high of this candle, remember, fair value gaps are a three candle price action. This is the first candle, the second and the third. So between the low of the first candle and the high of the third candle, that is our fair value gap. Price traded into this fair value. Once we start to see lower time frame uh, confirmation, the uh, price might start to go down from this level and start to seek the next drawn liquidity. And the next drawn liquidity would be the relative equal lows right here. There will be sensor liquidity pool residing below it. All right, and the higher time frames drawn liquidity that we already outlined, the monthly uh, bullish mitigation block. Okay, you can see another bullish other block right here. If you take a look at this, you'd see that this is equal low, so it's a drawn liquidity as well. So we'll go down to the daily time frame to uh, scout the daily time frame price action to see what we can find on the daily time frame price has traded back into that internal range even though we are still paying attention to price trading into a premium market because we will prefer to short in a premium market and buy a discount market so we might start to see the dollar trade into this fair value that we outlined last week I mentioned that I would prefer to see the dollar trade into this fair value before it starts to trade into uh, this premium uh, bearish breaker, the fair value gap in that premium region so that we can short the dollar into a new discount. Okay, so on the one hour, what are we seeing? Let's quickly take a look at the one hour time frame. So this is the one hour time frame. Look at what happened today. Price open. We saw the dollar give us a gap open lower today. Right, this was a gap open lower, telling us that we might have a bearish week, and then the dollar traded boom into uh, a mitigation block on the one hour time frame. Right, the dollar traded into that mitigation block, and then once we see smart money divergence that to tell us that the dollar is going to go down, we want to see the dollar reprice into. All of this level that we outlined that daily fair value and as you can see on the one hour it even has um, internal range liquidity that should be traded into all of this liquidity void right here we like to see the dollar um, close that inefficiency okay guys so on the 15 minutes or five minutes we are looking to see shift of market structure or you can simply wait to see that shift of market structure happen on the one hour before you start to react or take action all right so this is price has formed the higher high on the lower time frame we see that higher high and we see that 55 minutes shift of market structure right here this is subject to the higher time frame because the higher time frame is the main driver of liquidity 
Okay, guys, so but price forms from the lower time frame and trades into the higher time frame drawn liquidity, but the higher time frames are the main drivers of liquidity. So here we see price. Let's just quickly take a look at GBPUSD and see uh, what we can find on the GBPUSD. Okay, this is interesting. This is the GBPUSD 5 minutes time frame. Let's quickly take a look at the weekly time frame of the GBPUSD. This is the weekly time frame of GBPUSD price open and traded into that bullish order block. You can see it right here. That's a bullish order block on the weekly time frame. Price traded into a bullish order block. Where is our next drawn liquidity? The high is here and the volume imbalance above. That is a drawn liquidity. So we are bullish institutional order flow on the weekly. On the daily as well, price has traded into a discount level. If you measure that trading range between the low here to the high or entirely this range. If you simply measure all of that range, Look at what has happened. Price has traded below 50%. is currently in a 62% uh, Fibonacci level. And that is uh, optimal trade entry. And it's a high probability Fibo level. Once we start to see price give us a bullish market structure on the lower time frame, I will start to buy this guy into the daily and the weekly drawn liquidity. That's weekly volume imbalance of the GBP USD, guys. So... Let's just go down to the four hour. What we are doing now is actually called top down analysis. Okay, so look at the four hour time frame. Price opened today, swept the low of the previous week. So this is previous week's low. Price traded below the previous weekly low and is sitting on a bullish order block. This might support price to start to go up into the inefficiencies of the four hour time frame and also to the weekly and daily draw on liquidity. Okay, this is also a flip zone. If you just take a look at this carefully, you'd see that this is previous resistance turned support. Price has traded above that resistance and now it's trading back into the bullish order block of the discount level of the daily time frame and uh, the four hour. So what we are doing is we are building confluences to give us more confidence to execute our trades okay on the one hour let's see what happened on the one hour look at what happened today so this was my trade this morning price open and around 7 a.m price traded up above the asian high the asian session is between uh, we already know it's between 1 a.m to 5 a.m gmt plus one so price traded above it and traded into an institutional reference point of the one hour that bearish order block this is high probability sell this was where i shot gbp usd this morning and i took just 50 pips um, of this entire price action because we were above the asian session and price has traded into a bearish order block on the one hour and then there is a drawn liquidity, which was this previous old low. The previous old low was my drawn liquidity on the one hour. So if you just measure between this, you can see over 60 pips price delivery, but I was comfortable taking 50 pips of this entire price action. All right, so let's check 15 minutes, see what's up on the 15 minutes. So 15 minutes time frame, look at what happened. Price formed a little bit of accumulation at London session took out the relative equal I traded into that bearish order block of the one hour time frame and this was where I entered the short with my stop loss above this high uh, relatively less than 15 pips okay you can see that less than 15 pips that was what I did this morning and I was able to catch about 50 pips on that trade even below the drawn liquidity was traded into you can see that 50 pips even before the drawn liquidity was traded into. Then, now what I want to see is that we might start to see a bullish price action because we are sitting in a discount area on the higher time frame, all right? And also because we have a higher time frame drawn liquidity to the upside. So the five minutes has given us a shift of market structure, okay? We are trying as much as possible to see if we can identify smart money divergence. I'll be more interested in seeing a one hour uh, shift of uh, market structure to the upside before I start to buy that guy. Okay, guys, so this is Euro USD as well. You 
can see that the Euro USD chart also gave us a shift of market structure. So once we see a one hour shift of market structure or a bullish order block created on the one hour, then we can start thinking of buying either Euro USD, GBP USD, while we are shutting the dollar into uh, the higher time frame drawing liquidity to the downside. So this is my expectation for the dollar and foreign currencies in today's price action. Guys, if you like the video, make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, and don't forget to turn your notification bell. Until next time, I wish you good luck, good trading, stay safe.